Isn't that... Geppetto? Then... this must be... What's the matter? Huh? Goodness! Who, who are you? Riku. Oh, Riku. You poor lad. Seems you were swallowed up by Monstro just like the rest of us. My name is Geppetto, and I'm looking for my son Pinocchio. Pinocchio's gone missing? I'm afraid so. After all my searching, I found him here in the whale. But then he ran off again to who knows where. That sounds kind of... familiar. Mr. Geppetto, let me go look for your son. You would do that? Thank you. Are you sure? Yeah. Leave it to me. Did you say you were really going to help us find Pinocchio? Hmm? Jiminy? Huh? That's right. Name's Jiminy. Jiminy Cricket. But, shucks, have we met? No. You know, never mind. Hmm, if you say so. Anyway, Pinocchio comes first. Right. Any idea where he went? Well, 
I'm almost certain he wandered off with a stranger. Can you describe him? Hmm. I remember he was dressed in a black coat. Huh. A black coat? He's back again. Thanks. Huh? Well, I'm going with you. Pinocchio's gonna need his conscience, and that's where I come in. Yeah! Ha! 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 Ha
Pinocchio! Jiminy! Let him go now! Oh. Hmm? Oh. Thank goodness! Are you all right? Riku and I look for you everywhere! Uh-huh. I'm just fine. Sorry, Jiminy. I messed up real bad. You and Father must have been so worried about me. Why, Pinocchio? I think you just might be finally starting to learn. Who are you? Me? As I live and breathe. That was my... my dark side. I gave in to the darkness once. And ever since, it's chased me around in one form or another. The seeker of darkness who stole my body. A puppet replica of the shadows in my heart. And now, I'm facing me. Your dark side? Gee, Riku, don't you have a Jiminy like I do? He's my conscience. He's taught me all kinds of important stuff. Maybe you just need somebody to show you what's right and wrong. Sure. You can't shoulder all your problems alone, you know. You must have somebody. A friend you can talk to? Yeah. Actually, I do. That stupid grin he's always wearing. He's the best teacher I could ever have. Gee whiz! I wish I had lots of good friends. You will, Pinocchio. More than you can count. <sighs> what now? <laughs> Is something in there? Pinocchio, Jiminy, you should head back. I'll see what's shaking things up. Okay!
no. I thought I was only sent into the past, on the Destiny Islands. So why does it seem like time was rewound in this world too? Maybe it's like Master Yen Sid said, the world was freed from darkness, but is yet to wake from it. It's trapped in a never-ending dream.
Wow! That Pinocchio! He must have his poor father worried sick. Hmm. Still, that little fella's some miracle. Imagine, Mr. Geppetto's wooden puppet brought to life by the Blue Fairy. She made his wish for a son come true because he's given so much happiness to others. Now Pinocchio needs me to guide him and be his conscience. So maybe, one day, he can be a real... <laughs> well, now, let's not get ahead of ourselves, Jiminy. First, you gotta go find Pinocchio. Huh? Hey, Jiminy, what's up? Hmm? Who are you? You shouldn't be here, young man. What? Are you okay, Jiminy? Huh? You mean you've heard of me? <laughs> well, I'll be. The name Jiminy Cricket's already spread far and wide. Really? You feeling all right? It's me, Sora. Sora, you say? Hmm. Gosh, I don't think I recognize you, but the name does have a familiar ring. Um... Oh, yeah! In the sleeping worlds, real time does not flow. Unless one restores the world by waking it from its slumber, it will stay locked in a dream forever. Thus, you may encounter familiar faces, but they are just figments of the dream. In actuality, they are sound asleep, trapped within a world that is also sleeping. What's more, Whilst someone may no longer dwell in the real version of a world, dreams may paint a fuller picture and restore what seems to be missing. The real Jiminy Cricket wasn't trapped in this world, so maybe it's like the dream world's putting him back where he belongs. What's that? I can't hear you. Right. It's very nice to meet you, Jiminy. Well, sure. <laughs> the feeling's mutual, Sora. Oh, yeah. So, how come you said I need to get out of here? <laughs> you can't fool me. You still think we know each other. And you've just about got me thinking it, too. Hmm. But where was I? Oh, yes. This is a terrible place. Boys here are allowed to wreck things and loaf around and make jack-a-mules of themselves. And poor lost Pinocchio. He wandered in here on my watch. <gasps> That's right. That's where I must have heard your name, Sora. From my friend, Pinocchio. He knows me? But how? Shame on you, Pinocchio. Playing hooky and goofing off in a place like this? I'm sorry, Jiminy. I was going to school till I met somebody. Yeah, uh, two big monsters with big green eyes. <coughs> hmm? Oh, you don't say. And then what happened? They, uh, they tied me in a big sack. <coughs> oh. Sounds like you were horsing around. But I snuck off when they weren't looking. My nose! What's happened? There. You see where those tall tails will get you? But it's all true. Even the fella in the black clothes who said to play a trick on Sora. What? Now who was he? I've had just about enough of your fibbing. Hold on. I guess that part was true. Tell me, Pinocchio, did that man in black say anything else to you? Um, he sure didn't. Well, good. Hey, look at that! That star again! The Blue Fairy!
Why, Pinocchio? What has happened to your nose? Oh, um... Perhaps you haven't been telling the truth, Pinocchio. Sir Jiminy? Well, you see, uh, Your Honor, uh, uh, Miss Fairy... Oh, please help me. I'm awful sorry. You see, Pinocchio, a lie keeps growing and growing until it's as plain as the nose on your face. I'll never lie again. Honest, I won't. I'll forgive you this once. But remember, a boy who won't be good might just as well be made of wood. We'll be good. Won't we? Very well. But this is the last time I can help you. <gasps> that guy again. Forget him. If I don't find Pinocchio, he'll turn into a donkey like the rest of the boys. Right. Then let me help you find him, Jiminy. Really? I'd be grateful. But how in the world do you know Pinocchio? Oh, uh, um... Hey! Over there! I see him! Gosh! That is Pinocchio! All aboard, Jiminy! <laughs> Take it away! Pinocchio, it's not safe for you here. Listen to Jiminy and go back to... Oh, what? Hi. Dream Eaters! <sighs> Only one way to solve this problem. Those Dream Eaters were pretending to be Pinocchio. So, then where's the real Pinocchio? Sora! Up there! Huh? Look at the top of that tower! You're right! Come on, Jiminy!
Gee, Pinocchio, how'd you manage to get up here? Come on, let's go home. Ah. Another imposter. Hmm. There! See him walking? Well, sure, if that's really him. Don't give up, Jiminy. Come on, let's go! Yeah! Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 
I got it covered. <laughs> Open Oak, look at you. I think for now, you two better get out of here. Come on! 
You again? Zemnis? This is impossible. My, my. A hollow puppet that's managed to grow a heart. Just imagine that. Pinocchio isn't anything like you nobodies. But if Pinocchio could be given one, shouldn't you be able to have a heart inside you too? <laughs> Maybe so. However, do not forget that you yourself are not so very different from us. How am I anything like a nobody? That doesn't make any sense. They got home safe. Hmm? Ah! You must be Sora. Oh, yes, ma'am. And you must be the Blue Fairy. That's right. And I'm afraid that I have grave news. Good Geppetto went off to look for Pinocchio and he was swallowed by a whale named Monstro. What? Have you told Pinocchio and Jiminy about it yet? Yes. And when I told them Geppetto was still alive inside the whale and at the bottom of the sea, those two little ones ran off at once. They're very determined to save him. But that's crazy. I've got to find them.
This monstro? I've heard of him, Pinocchio. He's a whale of a whale. Why, he, he swallows whole ships alive. And besides, it's dangerous. Why, I, uh... Goodbye, Jiminy. Goodbye? I may be live bait down there, but I'm with you. Ah. Yeah. 